Hey, Tiny T Prepper here, and I have some bare root trees that I'm going to put in pots. Uh, I put them, that it's best if you can get them in the ground uh, immediately uh, after you get them. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that option. It'll be a little while before I get up to Tiny T where I'm going to plant these. I'm at our southern house where I had these delivered, and it'll be a little while, probably a week before, or maybe two weeks before I get back up there. And, and I had a little trouble with the first batch of these that did, uh, didn't grow, so... Uh, these are replacement ones for those three that didn't make it. And so what I'm going to do is put them in pots where I can kind of control the environment a little bit more and uh, move them in and out as I need to. Make sure that they get a real, real well-developed root system before I move them out of the pots uh, and put them into uh, the ground. So I'll keep these here where I'm at most of the time, and or somebody is most of the time, and 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 they can get uh, regular watering and and if it freezes move them inside but we don't generally get freezes down here and these types of trees don't usually matter but uh mainly it's the heat and the, and the lack of water sometimes so anyway these all have they'll get re watered regularly and hopefully we'll get a they'll get a good start now you do want to make sure that you only use topsoil uh with bare root trees you don't want any kind of additives for uh fertilizer they'll just burn them and they may leaf out immediately i did that with one batch and that was a mistake on my part so don't do that just get regular soil you can get soil that you get to put them in put them in the pots that's the best thing uh unfortunately it's six hours away from me so i can't get dirt <laughs> from where they're going to be planted so but this will work here it's just top soil uh, just plain dirt is all it is bags of dirt so uh, you want no no fertilizer i repeat that no fertilizer with the bare root so just regular soil just put them in for the first year then after that you can start fertilizing them. they'll get some well-developed roots and then you can now the problem i have with these these are both their shag bark they're they're both all three nut trees and the replacement for ones that that uh didn't make it and they have a year guarantee on them so i sent away and got the replacements for them and and they're shag bark hickory and maha pecan tree and they tend to have a large tap root that can be two, sometimes three foot long. In most pots, they won't fit in. Even the, And if you get the tall, skinny pots like they have for the greenhouses, they're usually pretty skinny and not very big around, kind of tippy. So uh, for me, I, I'm gonna, what I'm going to try and do is use a five-gallon bucket for my pot. I don't think one will be tall enough when I get them out of the box here. I'll be able to tell more. But what I plan on doing is putting two of these together. And I can measure down once I get them out to see how far, but I'm going to cut the bottom out of the top bucket, put it down inside this bucket, and then with some screws, I'm going to, going to screw it to the sides. What I'll probably do is split these up a little bit, and that way I can spread those out. And I'm going to have me a taller pot to, to put these in that's a little bit bigger around, and should work out pretty well, I think. Put a hole, hole in the bottom one, just drill some holes for the water so it doesn't sit in the bottom. And maybe put a little bit of sand or rocks down there uh, just to keep it so it doesn't plug up with dirt or anything like that. But anyway, we'll see how it turns out with two buckets there and raising the top one up, screwing it in so I can get a little bit taller uh, pot for these uh, tall tap roots on these uh, nut trees. So, anyway, let me get started on that and I'll come back. Okay, that seemed to cut real well. I just used a jigsaw and cut around the bottom of it. And I went ahead and made some slits up here. So it goes up part way. All, I made a few, quite a few of those you can see all the way around. And that's just so that'll bend out, hopefully, when I screw it in. Maybe it won't bend. <laughs> it's still pretty, yeah, it'll bend out there. So it'll bend out and I can screw that in then to the sides. And what I'm going to do with the handles, I'm going to put these opposite of each other, like this. That way, I have a handle on each side if I need to pick it up to move it. i got one on both sides to do that with. So, I need to raise this up about the top here. Right about that high is where I'm going to raise it to. Okay. So make sure I keep these opposite, and we've got a couple screws in there, and we'll see how it looks.